New focus on fantasy football. Lawmakers and others are now asking if playing DraftKings or FanDuel fantasy football is gambling and should be regulated. Caradio News Channel 13's Nick Rothschild logged in to see where Colorado stands on this one. It may not look like a gridiron, town gets crushed. but this is the battleground for one of football's latest scandals. At its core, Daily Fantasy is a pay-for-play avenue to win cash. Definitely changed the way I watched football. Dan McCarthy is an avid season-long fantasy player, but the murkiness surrounding the Daily version has him nervous. It feels almost like gambling to me a little bit, which um, I don't know if, if it's kind of a gray area legal-wise or, or how that works or how they're getting around that. So that's kind of what's kept me away from it a little bit. Gambling, by its definition, must check three boxes. It has to be luck involved. It has to be a reward at the end, and you have to put money into it. It's, it's luck is the key. And attorney Mike McDivitt says daily fantasy sites have a loophole. The distinction is gambling is prohibited because the individual putting money into it has no control over the outcome. That's the concept. The exception here, supposedly, is that the individual does have some control. Nevada says daily fantasy sites can't operate in their state until they have the proper licenses, while five other states have banned them outright. So what's next here in Colorado? McDivitt doesn't believe Colorado will get involved. We're in a middle ground area here. I don't think that the, I don't think it's going to get outlawed. While Colorado waits for federal intervention, McCarthy believes fantasy play will get a boost. If uh, people knew that there were some regulations in place, um, it might make it more family friendly, I guess, or more, more people would be willing to uh, participate. Until then, this is a legal lineup in Colorado. In Colorado Springs, Nick Rothschild, Cardio News Channel 13. Thanks, Nick. And as of tonight, Arizona, Iowa, Louisiana, Montana, and Washington State have all banned daily fantasy websites. The FBI is investigating if their business model violates federal laws.